and keep the applause going as we welcome our next speaker uh, for the Learnathon. And as we welcome our next speaker, before I hand it over to her, I would really like you to answer that uh, there is something being put in the chat box. Do you know what this is? Those who can read, what is this? Emotions. Yeah, fantastic. You guys know these are the emotions. So here is the question before I invite my dear friend, Max Malika. And she is going to take, take us on this fragrant journey where she is going to talk about how we can live our life to a profound wellness. And before I hand it over to her, let me ask you a few questions. Have you ever smelled happiness? Have you ever smelt the sadness in someone? Have you ever felt disgusted and you, you had that bad aroma around it? And if you can smell the emotions, you are only human. And she is going to talk us through a very, very, very new genre of well-being where we use what is naturally available to us to take us our life to a very fragrant journey. So uh, a huge round of applause for our next speaker, Malika. She has just hopped on. She was working and uh, she said that uh, I'll be joining in soon. And thank you so much for joining in. And uh, over to you, Malika. Anup, thank you so much for such a wonderful introduction. And honestly, after listening to Archana as well, and yesterday I did hop on for a little time, I am deeply honored and very grateful that you've invited me to share this knowledge with everyone. Um, I'm humbled by all of you. The work that everyone is doing is so important for the planet. It's uh, raising the vibration. It's bringing people together. It's creating a connectedness and the, the network that you've created, knowing that we're not alone, like Arjuna just said, that we are supporting one another, that we're there for one another. And uh, that's why I've been wanting to share this knowledge with you ever since it came to me. I said, it's got to be with the right people who will do wonderful things for it, with it, uh, for others. So I love your question, by the way. Uh, have you ever smelt any of these emotions? And it's amazing that you put it that way. Uh, I'm sure everybody has smelled things that remind them of their grandmother, things that remind them of their family, things that remind them of home. There's a student who's traveling around the world at the moment who was at the United World College where I volunteered as a, a volunteer administration uh, member. He's taken a boat all around the world. It's been four, uh, how many months? He said three months. He has not seen land. And he carried a bag of dirt from Colorado. And he's just reached Australia a couple of days ago. And before he hit land there, he said, he's posted the video on LinkedIn. He opens the bag and he says, I'm going to smell my home. And he opened the bag and he smelled it. You should have seen his reaction because he hasn't touched land. In three months, he's been on the boat. It was an incredible thing. So I'd like to ask everyone to please share in the chat some aroma that you... Uh, that reminds you of home, that makes you feel comfortable. It could be a spice, it could be a beverage, it could be some food that you like, it could be a fruit that you've eaten. And uh, if you could tell me what you feel when you smell that, what is the emotion that you feel when you smell roses or when you smell jasmine or uh, any of these things, could you please go ahead and, and if you want to unmute yourselves and share that, that's wonderful too. Yeah, mom made food. Alpana, do tell us what you felt. Freshly brewed coffee. Absolute bliss. Yeah, halwa, yum. Look at that. That's beautiful. So for me, I'll, maybe I'll tell you about how this journey started for me. Um, I'm actually a teacher of computer science and mathematics. I've been a teacher for 22 years and uh, found that the corporate world was wonderful, but what I was doing was not making people happy. And so I left that and started teaching people ballroom dancing, which is something that my, yes, memory triggers, absolutely. My grandparents uh, used to dance and they introduced me to Fred Astaire when I was quite young. And my twin and I 
learn ballroom dancing when we were 12 years old. And that used to make me very happy. I used to see my grandparents really happy when they were dancing. And of course, all of these fabulous dancers in those movies would look really happy when they were dancing. So that's what I started. There wasn't a place in Pune to do this. So our family home, which is now called Happiness Inc., uh, we converted that bungalow into this activity center where we started the ballroom dancing classes, yoga, Bharat Natyam, Kathak, and we started getting all of these healing modalities, Reiki, pranic healing, sound healing, akashic healing, uh, neuro-linguistic programming. We've had some beautiful sessions happening. Somebody else what's going on. And I asked the universe, can you send me something where I can empower myself, where I can connect with my own body, use my senses to understand what's going on with me. One of the things that people practice is yoga, is meditation, is um, with NLP, taking yourself into a state where you reconnect with your own memories, where you're able to release certain patterns, where you understand where these patterns originated. And, um, but I'm a Virgo, I like the easy way out. So I asked and lo and behold, this lady walks in. And at that moment, we had just started the cafe at the, at the activity center. Teacher, not a very good business person at that time, didn't understand how to run a business. So there was a lot of chaos in the head. There was uh, too many things going on, no clarity of thought and a lot of confusion. And this lady asked me one question. She said, what's the one thing you want to work on? I said, I've had lots of dreams since I was a child and they don't let me sleep. So I would like to get some sleep. She made a blend with some very expensive stuff and she just put it in my hand. And I was surprised because I said, who's usually this generous? This thing would have cost her about seven or eight grand. And she just made it and she put it in my hand and she said, go ahead, try this and let me know how you feel. Then I asked her a second question. Do you have something that can reverse graying of hair naturally? This is just a random question I ask people. And she said, yes, of course, very casually. Then I really got interested. I said, I, I don't believe that that's possible. She said, well, it's a cellular repair complex. And if you think about it, everything that's in nature, all plants have the capacity to regrow themselves. When you cut a plant or you take away the fruits, your tree is going to bear fruits again. It does not kill the plant. It does not kill the tree. When you take basil leaves and you cut them correctly, they propagate more, they grow more. Plants have this capacity, just like we have this capacity. We can regrow an entire organ in four years. So your cells are regenerating every night if you let them. But the problem with humans is we have all of this beautiful human drama and all these beautiful human experiences and emotions that create the chaos and all of our energy gets redirected to those intense emotions which sometimes can be completely unnecessary. Getting those emotions to, um, those, those emotions can sometimes also manifest and they can manifest as physical problems. So when we're holding on to things and not letting them go, can you give me an example of where you're holding on to something and it won't come out? It's supposed to come out every morning. It should come out with ease, but it's very often you'll find the people who are who are dealing with some of these digestive disorders wow. is because they are holding on to something too strong and they're not able to let go. There is no flow and ease and the inability to assimilate things that are happening. So um, she introduced me to this stuff. I took it home, I experimented with it and I could not believe the change that came about. And uh, I decided to shut the cafe and focus entirely on this because the way it helped me and it helped my family, I said, I've got to start sharing this with people. And, um, and the reason I did that is because you get educated when you understand the behavior of plants, what it is that they do in nature, you observe their behavior and then you try and mimic that behavior as well. You try and uh, absorb those carbon particles into your body. And one of the ways you do that is using the essential compounds which are in that plant in the form of either the plant extract or essential oils or the plant itself. Sometimes though, 
you need a large quantity of it. And that large quantity is very difficult to consume in one go or in one sitting. For example, one drop of peppermint essential oil, you would make 28 cups of peppermint tea. That is how much you need to make just one drop of it. In that one drop, you can shift a lot emotionally in your body and in your mind. And it's not just in the mind. Um, all of us know, everyone on this group is quite familiar with which emotions are stored in which part of the body, where it's being held, what kind of aches, pains, and manifestation it is, and how to release it. Now you've got something which is going to enable you to release it even faster, but with this deeper connection to nature as well. It's all there in nature. This is the beauty of it. The DNA which is in the plants, the DNA which is in us, how you combine the two, how you take advantage of everything that is around you. If you were grounding yourself, if you're walking on the earth barefoot, your feet, your toenails would get exposed to all of these compounds and minerals which are in the earth, which are used by the plants to regrow and to create. And this is what we should ideally be doing to ourselves. If we put ourselves in an environment of creation, we will remain in an environment of creation. But if we put ourselves in an environment which is going to be uh, constantly putting you down, and this is what tends to happen, especially in India. You've had communication right from childhood saying, well, this person's doing really well. Why aren't you keeping up with them? And why are you not performing as well, et cetera? Not recognizing that that may not be the right thing for you. And I think this subject has been covered by a lot of the, the speakers this weekend, so I won't go back to that. But you do understand the power of aroma, the memories that they trigger. This is something which is already in our DNA. It's not something we need to learn. Sometimes you will smell something which you have never seen before, but your DNA remembers it because it has a learning from generations. And um, I'm open to answering questions. This, this stuff is not just used by everyday Joes in a diffuser. We use these internally as well. We do apply them topically on the body. We apply them in different parts of the body. I can give you examples of crazy things that have happened to me with uh, varicose veins. And uh, the beautiful thing was when I had them years ago, when I was a trainer, I'd spend about 16 hours standing in a room, talking in an air conditioned room where I was not very happy because the environment was not uh, fresh air, which is what I craved. Uh, so I'm talking about myself now as an example, because that's, closest to new understanding where I'm coming from. Um, child of the earth wants to be out in nature all of the time. And yes, you are told to do computer science and math because you are one of those geeky Indian kids and you just do what you're told and you're good at it. So you follow through with everything, but that teaching was wonderful. But the environment with the air conditioning, it's drying, it is uh, dehydrating. And the excitement of teaching was always uh, what kept me going but I developed varicose veins there because there was no movement happening. So for years, didn't think about it. And then I used a pulsed electromagnetic field machine for about eight minutes, they disappeared, they did not show up for years. But then about a year ago, they showed up again and they were very painful and I couldn't walk. I was holding my leg and walking and um, I said, I have to do something about this. So I went to my essential oils book and I looked up and I said, all right, which one do we use for varicose veins? And it said, use one called Yarrow Palm. Took that out and used it at night because I couldn't sleep with that kind of pain. And the pain disappeared. The veins also, well, they subsided substantially. But when I woke up in the morning, I said, I'm not too happy with that. Why did they come? What was I feeling? So I looked up another book that I've got. And it said that the varicose veins were from feeling trapped. And I noticed, I said, okay, now, I had been saying that for a few days. I had been saying that I was stuck at work and it was just home and work and home and work. And everyone, all of my friends were complaining. Where have you been? We don't see you anymore. And I thought back and I said, my God, I've manifested that myself, didn't I? So then I took out the uh, essential oil, which is recommended for the person who's feeling trapped. And lo and behold, in 20 minutes, everything disappeared after the application of that. So for me, it has been miraculous results. I see crazy things happening every day. I have another friend who is in Goa right now, who also had a similar problem, but in her case, she had trapped creativity. 
So she used a different blend, which I asked her to. So um, this world has just been tremendous. And I would suggest everyone go out there and explore the world of aromatherapy, of essential oils, learn how to use them safely uh, because you can, you can hurt yourself if you don't use the stuff which is good. There's a lot of diluted stuff available out there. And I will let Anup connect you to what is pure and potent uh, rather than me giving away all of the goods, he's going to share that information with you. What I have come across has been a treasure and a blessing, and I'm so grateful for that. And I'm open to questions if anyone would like to ask, because I think that might be an easier way for you to understand what it is that this does. Thank you. Malika, thank you so much for sharing that. And I'll be very happy if you can also share the glimpses of the beautiful work that you are doing in the space, TTT, and uh, using the essential oils for aroma touch therapy. Aroma touch therapy is an application of the same essential oils that we're using. So there's a company that's from the US that has brought them to India recently, and uh, they are food grade. They are CPTG. It's the only one in the world which is CPTG grade. These treatments are used to help people bring their body back to balanced homeostasis. Uh, what does that mean? When we've been dealing, people have been dealing with chronic stress for years. The stress has started right in childhood. Now it's become a pattern. Instead of having a response to something, there's a reaction. And uh, sometimes you will end up meeting somebody who hasn't said a word to you, but the thought of meeting that person makes you start to shiver and shudder because you're terrified of the past experiences with that person. It could be an elder person, it could be a teacher you've had, um, someone who has said some things to you. And it's nothing to do with that person. It really is how you received that information at that time. Um, if you were told as a child, for example, that you are nothing and you exist for everybody else, you have to make everybody else feel good about you. They must be feeling good, but you were never asked as a child, how are you feeling? What is it that you want? What would you like to do? Of course, aaj ka zamana, today's generation has changed. The way parents are handling children is quite different. But the parents themselves, I'm noticing, have been through so much of trauma when they were children. We are trying to help them address their problems, their issues, so that while they're handling their children, they don't, uh, they don't hold resentment. They don't hold that guilt. They don't hold that sadness, that fear, and that anxiety that they had. They're always under pressure to perform because they have to have their children perform. And everything is about being the best and always performing. In fact, we're letting go and simply being yourself will enable you to perform and to be that wonderful person you're meant to be on the planet. So. The chronic stress starts from an age where we can't really understand. When you go through an NLP program or you go through hypnotherapy or any or Akashic healing or any of these sessions, um, you possibly be able to pinpoint where it started. And it does take a little bit of time to get deeper into that seed. Um, however, you can help the body by enabling the body to start releasing those layers. And that is what the Aroma Touch treatment does. It enables you to physically change your vibration so that you come back to balanced homeostasis and your body starts to respond instead of reacting. And uh, it's helped people with their physical conditions as well, but also their emotional releases. They come out in a very beautiful way, but it does encourage you to address the problems and the problems are in the head. They're not really, they're not physical. They are all held somewhere and they've got to be released. And once they're released from up there, then physically you start seeing the changes in your body as well. So that's what the Aroma Touch uh, treatment does. And some of the other work we do also is on frequency healing. So it's not just uh, limited to the essential oils, but we do a lot. So shifting your frequency is so many things. The music that you listen to, indulging in exercise, keeping yourself outdoors, grounding, walking, um, go out and have a nice meal, be surrounded by nice, happy people. You will thrive in the environment that, that you resonate with. So the more often you do that, if you like being around intellectuals, you do that as well, because that is 
that's your frequency that is your your soul cluster and that is where you will really thrive and you will grow so arshia has a question yes uh, that was really beautiful that what you just said thank I you do if essential oils can be used for all ages yes they can if you're using cptg grade they are safe they have been made safe they are pure and potent the dilution ratio changes i also use them for my pets and um, they're very close to me they are my they are my family as well so yes we want to use safe stuff that's why we teach classes on this on a weekly basis to make sure the people know what to use when to use how to use them and these classes we teach for free because this knowledge should be available to everyone thank you thank you so much for sharing that mallika pleasure and, uh, uh, there are people who would like to connect with you and uh, with your permission i am posting your linkedin handle in the chat box wherein people can connect with you and uh, avail sure. and explore this beautiful world of essential oil and the aromatherapy like in nlp we say that perception is projection and the kind of internal representations that we have shape up the reality as we perceive it and our mind and the body are part of the same system they keep on complementing each other affecting each other and like you very beautifully says that everything is here so using the physiology using the aroma touch therapy once you relieve what is here everything naturally falls in space so thank you so much for showing us that side also and uh, there are people who would connect with you after the session is done and those who would like to explore this beautiful world of aroma therapy and uh, att please get in touch with malika she has been so generous she is conducting the weekly sessions on how to use the essential oils how to integrate that and uh, soon malika i will also connect with you where we can integrate nlp and aroma touch therapy and together with sk consultancy we will take this research based field to a newer height um, thank you very grateful and uh, feel very humbled and blessed thank you thank you thank you so much for sharing your knowledge sharing your love and being here guys a shower of hearts for malika thank you thank you so much and uh, do we have any question before we move forward yeah fantastic kalpana you have unmuted yourself would you like to say something yeah i just wanted to ask malika Mal uh, malika fantastic uh, insight i got the wisdom what you were talking about the dna and the dna of the plant and uh, it was like uh, giving a very uh, different perspective of how the aroma would help you in healing and regenerating the organs or the, whichever the part of the body so i would like to my question is i would like to know that do you teach how to do the combination if you take the class uh, how this combination has to be done and where are these available are, are you manufacturing here or how it is to be sourced uh, available that is what is my question is yeah we cover everything in the class and uh, making them cptg grade is a very difficult task the company i get them from the ceo of the company's daughter had epilepsy and he was looking for a remedy which was natural which was not suppressing her symptoms and her receptors so all medication usually which is used for epilepsy is just numbing the body's ability to respond and that would destroy a person over a period of time that person would become like a vegetable so that is not what he wanted for his child he wanted to help his child um, be able to respond in a balanced manner because the neurotransmitters were firing like crazy at the point in time so how do you calm that down without destroying the receptors in the body and the neurotransmitters in the body sorry about that that's one rickshaw that passes by every day that it's a disco party in that rickshaw every day so um this is the intention this is the heart of the people who made these products and um for years i have not left pune for 7 years i did not travel out of pune because there was just too much going on here but when these chaps came to bombay i was compelled to go and meet them to see the people behind these products and i'm so grateful that i did they are very true to their word 
And uh, I'm honored to know these people who are making these products that are changing lives all over the world. So we do share all of the information on how to use them safely, which ones to use for what symptoms. I also do guide people on how to connect the emotions to the physical condition. And um, for example, when there are digestive disorders, there's usually two uh, remedies that are recommended. One of them is when a person is not able to assimilate things that are happening, changes that are happening. And the second one is when a person is simply not taking care of themselves and not taking responsibility for themselves. They are there for everybody else, but they're not caring for themselves. So when we do make recommendations to people, I personally like to sit down and understand what that person is going through, how they are feeling. And then you identify the root cause of the problem. So then you choose what plant extract would be ideal for them and then give them that. And the dosages and how often to use it, the frequency, et cetera, we find the shift is very fast. So you don't use it for very long. And if you think about it, all of these plant extracts are made out of all the food we already consume. All food already provides us the nutrients and uh, the ability for our cells to regrow, to regenerate. The difference is we have not been eating those things for a long time and we don't eat it in those quantities that we need them. We have instead, our diets have changed over years and have moved away from the natural foods into a lot of other foods, which are simply for sustenance and for filling the system up so that you don't get acidity. And uh, that's where a big mistake has happened. But we can still reverse that. It's very easy to do and um, eat well. And you'll find that the choices that you make in your food also tend to change. You'll automatically be drawn more to nature, more to colorful food, because you've started to bring about that shift energetically inside you as well. Thank you so much. And uh, just a connecting question. Is there any side effects of these uh, aroma oils or... Because you said we take it um, internally as well. Internally yeah. as well. Yes. As long as you stick to the recommended dosage, if you consume 5 ml of it, yes, that is bad. But nobody nobody can physically consume 5 milliliters of it. That's a lot. One drop is enough. Um, I can't speak for the other companies because we do know and we have tested them as well. The other companies do dilute them. What we are dealing with are not really essential oils. We have plant extracts. They are potent, they are thin, they absorb very quickly into your skin. They're not oily, they don't have any fatty compounds, but they are lipid, uh, which means they are fat soluble. And our skin membranes are also lipid. Our cell membranes are lipid, so they get absorbed very quickly into the skin. And uh, for internal consumption, it's like taking uh, ginger juice and really extracting everything out of it and then you narrow it down and boil it down and you're going to get that one little drop which is a pure extract of it so it's the pure stuff it's then not adulterated with anything else as a carrier oil which is what most people do get online so these are the pure extracts which is why they work very differently they need uh, a proper um, introduction to them, you need to know how to use them safely because they are very strong. They are quite potent. Thank you, Malika, for the insights. Thank you so Pleasure much. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Malika, for the beautiful answer and thank you, Kalpana, for the question. We come from a tradition when the question is asked, the knowledge is presented. So thank you so much for the question and Malika, thank you so much for graciously answering it. And uh, guys, again, once again, a shower of hearts from Malika. Thank you so much for being here, Malika.